Hello, everyone. Uh, that's Vincenzo Piccolo from uh, University of Campania, Luigi Vanvitelli. And um, today I'm going to talk to you about uh, a novel dermoscopic finding uh, uh, seen in uh, scabies. As you know, probably uh, scabies is the uh, infectious disease uh, which mostly uh, takes advantage from uh, dermoscopy um, uh, as concerning uh, its diagnosis. Uh, recently, it was uh, published in literature a new paper about dermoscopic findings in, um, in, uh, in scabies with a new sign found by uh, Japanese authors that was called the gray edged lay line sign. Let's go through this sign to understand uh, what it is and uh, which is uh, its uh, correspondence uh, to histological uh, findings. This is the abstract of this paper that you can find on the Journal of Dermatology, the Japanese Journal of Dermatology. And um, as you can see in the abstract, this sign is described as a uh, pigmented uh, uh, line that can be seen at the, sometimes at the edge of the barrel of the uh, scabies, it's uh, rarely seen on uh, palms and soles. And uh, when the barrel when the barrel has a covered course, the gray edged line uh, forms the outer wall of this uh, of this sign. And in this paper, uh, Weda and uh, um, its uh, collabor collaborators uh, talk about the correspondence uh, between this gray edged line sign and the pigmented uh, melanin inside the fishes of the, um, of the mite of the scabies. This is uh, the study uh, taking in consideration the, as you can see, the correspondence between the sign seen here on the left at naked eye, and that's the big piece of news because this sign is also seen at naked eye, um, dermoscopic sign of the gray edged line and the histopathological uh, uh, correspondence as you can see here in correspondence of uh, uh, the, the gray edged line sign at the border of the carved barrel, you can see a lot of uh, pigmented fish fishes. Um, in this other, uh, in this other um, uh, picture uh, that you can find in the paper, it's very interesting how uh, these pigmented fishes can be seen in two different forms at dermoscopy. When um, they are uh, uh, seen here on the border, on the edge of the carved barrel, uh, they cor correspond to uh, faces that are, uh, um, are just um, under the thin part of the epidermis. So uh, when the barrel curves, it, we, can see, we can see them at the, at the border. Whereas uh, when the, the, the fishes are here on the, um, uh, on the lower part of the, of the barrel, we can see them as these bluish uh, structures better seen at high magnification. So, which are the characteristics of this gray edged line sign? First of all, it can be defined as a linear gray pigmentation at the border of the barrel. Uh, it's mostly seen on the trunk and limbs, so rarely seen on palms and soles. Uh, when the barrel is curved, uh, as I told you before, the sign forms um, on the outside wall, um, it, it is also visible at naked eye. So it's very important for clinicians because uh, while the barrel, 
the classical barrel is not seen at naked eye except for uh, um, a very striking cases. This uh, new sign is also seen at, gray, uh, at naked eye and uh, it corresponds to my faces. Let's see a summary of thermoscopic features found in uh, uh, Scabius. Uh, this is a very striking picture of um, thermoscopic uh, picture of, uh, of uh, scales. The, the most common finding is the so-called delta glider. Other names for the delta glider are gray delta structures, and glider or triangle. Um, then we can see the jet with contrail sign, the so-called wake sign, the noodle sign, the gray edged line sign in the bluish white structures. This is uh, the pictures I showed you before. Let's see what we can uh, uh, detect at thermoscopy. Uh, here, uh, with the uh, indicated by blue arrow, we have uh, the so called delta glider, these uh, triangular structures at the top of the barrow. Here, we have uh, uh, indicated by white circle, the so-called jet with contrail sign. And here you can see also the wake sign. The wake sign corresponds to the, the door of entrance of the mic into the skin. And uh, sometimes we uh, also see wake sign on the end without delta glider or jet with control sign. So it's very important for us to uh, being able uh, um, of uh, uh, recognize it. Uh, in these other uh, thermoscopic pictures, we can see um, the delta glider sign once again, these triangular pigmented structures um, at the top of the, um, the barrel. Uh, here, the jet with contrail sign once again indicated by the uh, white uh, circle. And here, the new sign. You see, we are on the trunk, so you can see the gray edged line sign corresponding to the um, to the faces uh, of the uh, of the of the of the of the mite. In this case, this sign has an exception because it, it's not seen on the outer side of the barrel, but uh, in the inner side. And here, um, finally, we see a very uh, recently described sign that is called noodle sign that indicates a plenty of jet with contrail sign altogether in crusted scabies, in this case of uh, a, a, a child. So when we have, uh, a, um, you see uh, a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of mites with uh, uh, their, their barrow uh, seen in the same thermoscopic fields, we can recognize uh, uh, the noodle sign. This is the paper about noodle sign that was described as a new thermoscopic pattern of uh, crusted scabies. Thanks for listening. Bye.